Socks, come. Yeah, good boy, come. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Sit. Good. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. If you use good. food or pets with a dog, Break. make sure that they stay in their sit or down after you've fed them or pet them for a few seconds before you release them. Socks, come. Yeah, good boy. Nope. Come. Good. Come. Practice your timing. When your dog looks at something, immediately call them over to you. And if they divert for any reason, zoomies or sniffing, say no, tap e-collar, and then continue to encourage them to come to you. So it'll sound like, dog, come good boy. No, come good. Socks, come. Good boy, come. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Good boy, let's go. Sit, no, come. Sit. So that no right there was a was an e-collar tap, and then I repeat come. If your dog has struggled with paying attention to you, recall work in the past, you'll notice that with this type of work, they just check in more. They just kind of hang closer to you in general, which is what's great about using a long leash. They never hit the end of the long leash, so they get into the habit of always having to stop or turn or come to you before they hit the end of 20 or 30 feet and you naturally start to train that boundary around you over time. Socks, come. Good boy. Come. Nope, come. Come. Sit. So something startled him. He stepped on something, on something that startled him. And I didn't want to do like a big correction, but I wanted to more motivate him. So I tapped momentary instead. 18 is not a super high level. It's not like a huge, don't ever chase that squirrel, don't ever do that again. It's really just um, kind of firm, that's it. So instead of tapping this, oh, everything's dirty. I tapped momentary. Momentary can be very motivational to move them through a moment. And since that was kind of nervous based, I wanted to do something quick and lighter. And so this is lighter than this break without me having to change the level because it happened suddenly you can just see him starting to check in more just soften he's not thinking anymore that everything he looks at he can run towards you have to teach your dog that you're the priority you're the number one and you can do that with tons of rep repetitions with food and some accountability or just guidance and accountability this dog is young, so we've been using quite a bit of food in the beginning. Let's go. Come on. Socks, come. Good boy. Good job. Come here. Sit. Good boy. Let's go. Socks struggles with anxiety around vehicles and jumping in them frantically, you know, jumping out of them and seeing them and socks come. Headed towards the parking lot. No, socks come. So this is always good practice for him. Sit. So he always pulls towards the car almost frantically. It's a thing about him with vehicles. No. Sit. Good. So that was a 30. So that was more valuable because I, I know him. So I know what he's going to do. And I know I need something more valuable. But here's the thing. Was it really valuable? We have to do it again and find out. Let's go. Break. How you know it's valuable is that they either kind of stick with you like this or when they do venture out again and you say C-O-M-E, they respond without e-collar. Socks, come. Good boy. Come. Come on. Come on. Sit. So I really see that hesitation you saw. I should have scrolled down and tapped for that, but holding the phone and this, I'm not quick on it with my left hand. Usually this is held in the right, and I could quickly scroll down and tap for that small thing, not a 30. I'm sure it would've been fine, but that tells me that eh, it was valuable, but not valuable enough, right? Let's go. Break.
socks come. Good boy. Nice. So, eh, it's definitely something that needs to be worked on. Next time we do this, I'll know I want to be at a higher level. Uh, I'll be, come here. See, he gets antsy. Sit. Good. I'll be at a higher level. I'll probably go ahead and go to a 50 and be in one and done. I don't want to have to do this again for six months. And, and see if that works. Sometimes anxiety is so bad that even if you correct them, it doesn't work like that. You have to more chip away at it. And I'll learn if that 40 or 50 doesn't work, but I know it was valuable, that will teach me that his anxiety is so high that he's pushing through and I don't need to just do valuable levels all the time. I actually need to just work him 10, 10 recalls for every time we head to the car and really drill that in without serious corrections every time. But for prey or for dogs, which is a different part of the brain, for him it's happiness, little nervousness and happiness with dogs and he'll take off towards the dog in a second. Squirrels, prey drive, sit, it can be the hardest thing. Those things, my numbers will still stay. My numbers will still stay higher. But um, for something like this, it's very anxiety related. A correction may not be enough. Meaning he'll need more practice at the lower levels, like the 15 to 30, more repetitions to help guide him through it. And instead of trying to wean off of that guidance, those reminders right away.